Hi and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. These are these fantastic little bells we've made. They're a full fuse with a small amount of marine to add the really gorgeous touch. And today I'm going to show you how I made these. So the first thing we've done is cut um, two layers of glass. We're going to do a full fuse here. So we've got a layer of texture and then a layer of colour. Now there is, a, um, there, there is a possibility if we don't line it up properly entirely that the texture might poke out the bottom and it probably will on a couple of these. But I don't think it matters so much. Now I'm going to build them here, but actually before I fuse them, I'm going to turn them around a bit just to give them a bit more space. But I'll just build them this way so you can see them. Now, I first of all, I want to give this, um, particularly the top layer, a really good clean. Now, you don't often see me clean my glass, but it really is important to do it, particularly if you're using oil to cut it, um, particularly if you have ground at all, uh, edges, you need to give it a really nice, good clean. Um, we use a pro cleaner uh, and then dilute it down. Um, and that's what we use as our glass cleaner. Uh, so I'm going to clean all of those. Um, so for each um, bell, I've also got um, a kind of little um, bell clanger. So I've literally using one of our XL Marini and a bit of Tecta. And between each one of those, I'm just going to I'll use a tiny blob of glue just to help hold it all in place. Um, so I'm going to put a little hook and I'm just going to use a little bit of fibre paper to hold that up and make sure it just helps hold it in place. Um, so I'm going to do that for each one of these. I've tried to make quite small little hooks. In fact, I just dropped one and I will never find it on this floor. So I have to remake that one in a minute. Um, but I'm going to do that under each one of these. Now, decorating the bells again, these are also going to have a hook. So now they're going to have a hook at the top. And also a hook at the bottom. And we kind of want to make sure that those are in a line so it looks like nice and neat. I'm making sure that lines up. Now, I'm going to decorate each one slightly differently. Um, I mean, for the white, I just really want it a really simple little design using some of our XL holly and some holly berries. Now, remember, this is going to go on a full fuse, so this will all fuse together. So we're probably going to lose the definition of the holly, but the sort of general feeling of the piece will be there. Um, for the red and the green, I'm going slightly different themes. I'm going to decorate them first and then I'll put the hooks in. I'm using some green um, drops. And I'm sort of just angling them to be sort of like a kind of fun edge in a way I should have started from the other side. If I get them lined up, it's just going to be easier to use some glue to keep it all in place for the moment.
here these are out of the kiln. Um, I think they've worked brilliantly. Um, we just used a little, little jump ring to join this. I was going to use chain, but actually it was going to become very fiddly and difficult. Um, and this is much easier. Um, I'm just going to hold this one up so you can just see how kind of cute that is. And it just brings in a little bit of movement into the decoration, which I just think adds that extra dimension that people love. It's a pretty simple project to make. You know, this one's got hardly any marini on it at all. Um, I love the little dichroic stringer um, uh, kind of detail. I think that just works really well to sort of just bring some, again, dimension to it. You've got the stringer here because it was the same color, mostly blended in, but I put a dichroic stringer there. And again, that just gives that feeling of the curved of the bell. Um, also love how these have opened out. I didn't quite go up to a full fuse. I went to um, 790 on this, but my kiln does run hot. So there's still a bit of texture um, on uh, the green marini. Interestingly, the red is, you know, is, is much flatter. Um, but I do love how it's turned out. I think it's worked really well and is a, such a lovely project. So I hope you've really enjoyed this one. Um, remember, you can get all our marini at tabithasglassemporium.com. Please sign up for our newsletter there and you'll hear about any events or uh, special offers we're having or just, you know, great new videos and projects. Also, we have our wonderful Facebook group, Tabitha's Glass Emporium. You can sign up to that and see what everyone else is making with, their, um, with our Marini and be inspired by them. I love our group. Until next time, happy fusing.